and welcome back to the kiosk presents you know we've got a really really great event that's coming to buffalo for the eighth year now the buffalo niagara international film festival it's going to be starting on april 24th it goes for 10 days and here to talk about it with us is the founder and president bill cowell bill welcome hey welcome Welcome back. So, for the eighth year, <laughs> you're, you're an old veteran. You've been doing this. Uh, tell us about just the evolution of the film festival from eight years ago to where it's at now. Oh, gosh. Well, um, I mean, the involvement, you know, with the industry, especially with me and the connections that I've gotten over those years has just been incredible. Yeah, I would have never saw it you mm-hmm. know, that, this far. But. Well, what was the inspiration in the first place? I know a lot of people... Maybe they've gone two or three years or whatever, or maybe they've never gone before, and we'd love to invite you to do that. But, I mean, what, what was the initial inspiration for you? Well, it was, uh, I, was, I was doing a film um, called The Magic Shoe. Mm-hmm. I had James Garner, Helen Hunt, Diane Lane on the project. And a couple of weeks prior to us filming here locally in Buffalo, Jim had suffered a stroke. Mm-hmm. So I had this whole year planned to do this film, and when we put it on hold, had nothing else to do so i basically said you know what i'm doing this film festival and that's great. and that's where it started and uh, mm-hmm. you know i've been there doing it ever since so. wow that's amazing so, yeah. and and now this year all of the activities happening at the market arcade yes mm-hmm. yeah yep. it's a great venue and yep. of course it's right here downtown buffalo i yep. mean what better place to do a film festival than yep. there how many films are actually part of this year's festival there's 140 films whoa total. did you have to watch yeah. every single one or we watch what's, most what's yeah we watch most so. how, well how do people submit and and how do you watch them and judge which ones are going to be part of it well there's a committee who actually watches you know mm-hmm. most of the films and then you know we kind of narrow it down to all the hundreds of submissions that we get and and um, and then you know I finalize and and we put it to test. So. Well, now I know a lot of the films are Buffalo filmmakers. Um, I, in fact, our our yeah. uh, our producer and cameraman Chad is actually yeah. part of and and in one of the one of the ones Franklin Street, I believe. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, uh, do, how do you do? You really focus on trying to get people from Buffalo and Western New York involved? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I mean, we you know the reason I'm here is because I want to keep the local tie into this film festival. Mm-hmm. I mean, as we grow and get bigger and get more, you know, all the. I mean, we're international. I get people coming from all over the world here yeah. every year, and it's getting more and more. Right. Right. So, well, and and right across the border, the the Canadian yeah. film industry is so big and so many people is this really their opportunity to break in somewhere to start with the film you've probably got a whole range of well-experienced filmmakers and brand new too yes yeah all, at all levels mm-hmm. um, but you know what it's a it's a hub and it's a breaking ground for a lot of filmmakers mm-hmm. to get you know who don't know how to get their projects out there who don't know how to get in contact with the industry professionals you know distributors and producers and right and um, you know not only that but we're you know I'm I'm focusing um, a lot on um, partnering with a lot of these filmmakers and you know um, to bring the work here to Buffalo too and getting these projects financed and everything mm-hmm. which we're doing too here um, later this year as well so. great well and we'll talk yeah. about a few f- few of the films mm-hmm. in a, in, in a mm-hmm. minute mm-hmm. but the the film the film festival is much more than just showing the films I mean I, I you've got seminars and and opportunities for them to really kind of rub shoulders with each other absolutely and um, you know one of the big fo- uh, forums that we're having this year too is on actual financing of films too so mm-hmm. talking with the industry leaders how to get them to back your project mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And, well, you, uh, that's going to be a great one yeah so. yeah no absolutely because you can't get any of this done without money and the expenses well, go up all the time so yeah. absolutely well uh, let's talk about some of the films i know you some of the featured yeah. ones uh probably the biggest one that everybody would t- know is the the natural filmed here in buffalo yeah. how many years ago 30 years 30 years, 30 years. ago <laughs> and the natural was the film that starred uh, Robert Redford, uh, Barry Levinson was the director, mm-hmm. and uh, much of it, or w- many of the scenes were shot in uh, some of the buildings, I think the Elegant Square building, if yeah. I remember, yeah. and uh, War Memorial Stadium, the old rock pile, yeah. and uh, I know, I was telling you before, from personal experience, I actually was working for Harvey and Corky Productions, the concert yeah. promoters, and Harvey Weinstein, uh, let's just say played hooky quite a bit <laughs> during the filming of The Natural and seemed to be hanging around with uh, all the directors. And I guess uh, certainly he knew what he was doing because he's, he's made a, a great uh, a great career for himself. But uh, that was great. And how, how are you going to, what are, what are you going to do special to celebrate The Natural? Well, I'm really excited about this project in particular because um, for the last year, 
um, I had put a documentary together with local filmmakers mm -hmm. um, to get this 30-year reunion documentary done mm -hmm. for the film. Mm -hmm. So we saw pretty much um, almost every major cast crew and member with the film. Mm -hmm. Um, we're, we're trying to lock them into, uh, you know, coming here as well to celebrate the opening of the film festival on right. April, April 25th mm -hmm. uh, for the premiere yeah. and a special engagement for The Natural as well. So. Yeah. yeah. But we had great interviews. I got, you know, exclusive interviews from almost every major player in that film. Amazing. And, yes, and, because uh, this yeah. is really your baby, right? Well, That's yeah, it, it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, but it, you know it, was a, it was a combined effort, yeah, you know, with yeah. a lot of the local guys as Did, well. So. Were you able to get a hold of any of the, or, or shoot, or maybe even have for the for the event, any of the props and things? I know there were a lot of props. I remember the, the cardboard cutout yeah. people and everything yeah. else. There was there was a, a lot that came from that. Film. Yeah, we, have, we know a lot of people with a lot of the props, mm -hmm. um, including the seats. Yeah. So we're here talking with Bill Cowell about the Buffalo Niagara International Film Festival. We'll be back in just a few minutes. We've been talking about the the special feature about the natural, and uh, Bill, you you wanted to let us or to tell the folks that if there's anybody that was involved in the filming of the natural or any part that uh, there's still an opportunity oh, yeah. for them to talk to you. Yeah, we're on the last weeks of, you know, the, the post for mm -hmm. the film, but uh, we are going to be adding some additional footage, and hopefully we can add that with the local participants who are involved with the film. Right. Get more of the local people involved and get their props involved with the And, the and event. where can they reach you? Just uh, your email address? Uh, yeah, it's our, my email and contact information is right on the website. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there you have it. If, if you were involved in any way, shape, or form with the filming of The Natural 30 years ago, get in touch with Bill. Uh, you might be part of a, a, an evolution of this great uh, film and documentary. So we'll be right back with more of The Kiosk Presents in just a few minutes. And then there's another one called Generation Iron, which is all about the, the bodybuilders, yes. right? Yep, absolutely. Um, that's going to be on our closing night, mm -hmm. um, May 3rd at the Market Arcade at about noon. Mm -hmm. We're going to actually start to do a uh, pre-screening uh, little forum and posing session right, with right. several of the, uh, at least a dozen of the uh, wow. participants coming in, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of women bodybuilders, too. I oh, mean, yeah. going to be involved in... Well, you know, it's amazing. There, there is a real community of bodybuilders, and, you know, very serious in Western New York, yeah. and uh, so to have this film here and people coming in from all over the place that uh, have been involved oh, yeah. in uh, bodybuilding, that's going to be a neat as event as well. Oh, yeah, especially, and not only that, but Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno, mm -hmm. who was also a past guest of our festival, mm -hmm. um, was involved in that film as well. So. Any other celebrities going to be at this year's? Oh, uh, uh, we're working on yeah? it. We're Good. working on it. We got some, uh, uh, I think Stephen Lang might be coming in, mm -hmm. uh, Tippi Hedren. Oh, yeah, really? So, yeah. Oh, my God. Pretty, my wife, pretty my sure. wife pretty loves sure. Tippi Hedren. Not 100%. My man. wife was actually yeah. Tippi Hedren for Halloween one year from oh. the birds. So. Oh, yeah. Well, we have... So uh, you got to hook us up. Yep. And, <laughs> That's uh, great. Well, and let me tell you yeah. about a, uh, one that, that, frankly, I was involved in, but there's mm -hmm. a documentary um, called... Uh, a Toy Story, Life, Death, yep. Life, Death, and Rock and Roll by uh, local filmmaker Elmer Platz. And uh, that's going to be at the Market Arcade on April 24th at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. One of Buffalo's uh, kind of pioneering uh, punk new wave bands. And, you know, they, they got their start here in Buffalo, went to New York City. And uh, it's a story. It could be a movie unto itself, just the story of this band. But uh, really fantastic story. And uh, we're thrilled that they're going to have... Yeah, that the, that um, documentary about one of the local bands in Buffalo that um, kind of made full circle and Kevin Kay is still out there performing 35 years later um, is going to be part of the festival. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Now, last one, The Brave New West, because I know that's yes. another one that you're really kind of featuring, and that sounds like it's dynamic in terms of the cinematography. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was a filmmaker that I met through some of our projects as well uh, in the Midwest mm -hmm. who does a lot of documentary films, and, and they're really good at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, was a, it was a nice fit for the festival. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to you know, having people involved with that. Right. Too. Now... We've been showing it all as we've been going along, but mm -hmm. the website is, is www.thebnff.com, yep. and uh, that's where you can go see 
all the films listed, all 140 films. How do people get tickets? Are there special packages, uh, at different rates and things there, like that? There is, and, and um, everything will be live up on the website this week. Good, um, great. Most of the ticket stuff is up there now, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's really fair pricing. Ten bucks general admission. Wow. Five dollars for seniors, students, and veterans. Wow. It's half wow. Price, so. so hey, yeah. I mean, nothing wrong with going to see the big the big Hollywood no. films that are out all over Western New York. But if you want to see something really special and at a really good price, um, this this festival is fantastic. It's April twenty fourth to May third at the Market Arcade Theaters in downtown Buffalo, the Buffalo Niagara International Film Festival. Bill. Thanks very much for joining us on The Kiosk Presents. Great. Thank you. At Airport Plaza Jewelers, the showroom, a really great diamond doesn't cost an arm and a leg, but really big diamonds. They don't cost an arm and a leg either. Please feel free to shop around, do some comparisons, and come on into the showroom and let us show you how many thousand dollars we can save you on a really quality diamond engagement ring. Take the 33 Expressway East to Union Road, get off, you'll see the big LED sign, and you'll see the little kiosk, but then right behind the little kiosk, the showroom, right next door to Subway. Come on down and look at some really beautiful diamond engagement rings. Again, on display, on sale, right here at the showroom.